Welcome to Random Radio. I'm your host, David Belander, and thanks for listening in. So, every week we discuss a random topic, whether from a listener like you or my choice. And this week's topic, we're actually going to cover monetization, which is actually going to cut into, um, it's going to cut into one of our uh, main things that we're going to be talking about today. Um, and don't forget that any opinions shared on the show are just that, opinions, and if anybody says anything offensive, they don't mean to offend, and they're just expressing their opinions. And with that out of the way, let's get on with the show. So, we're going to go over some of the pros and cons of monetization. Uh, let's start off with, so let's start off with pros. Um, so, first pro, uh, money. We're going to be, <laughs> I'm going to be making some sort of money off of, off of it, right? And that's just like, no dirt. And I'm, I'm actually going to talk about money just in another point, but, um, yeah, I, I'll get more in depth into money later, and, that, and I am counting it as a pro. Um, I also think that's going to give me a, a better connection to you guys as listeners, um, and it's also going to give me a little bit of a boost in the way of growth, at least I think so, um, just because it gives me, I don't know, maybe... It, I, I, I'd imagine that uh, the algorithms and stuff would do something like that, would have something to do with monetization. It probably doesn't, but I don't know. Um, it would also create a, better di a bigger division, at least in my brain, between um, Spotify listeners and YouTube listeners. And by the way, I, whenever I say like Spotify listeners, I mean the specifically podcasting or audio um, softwares. I do not specifically mean Spotify, I mean other things as well. Um, yeah, it would create a bigger, anyways, it would, give, it would create a bigger division between Spotify and YouTube in my brain, uh, which is a pretty good thing, because I, I usually just kind of mesh my listeners together, which is okay at sometimes, but sometimes it's kind of weird. Um, it would also, this would also create a bit of a quality increase, just because I would imagine it more as a job, and less so like a, um, uh, like a hobby. I, I try to treat it more like a job, um, but at the same time, then I, I still know, I know deep down it's still a hobby. It's not quite, um, it doesn't quite make the cut. Uh, and then I also think that this is going to give me a bit more control um, over everything, right? Because it's going it's gonna to give me more options. Let's, let's put it that way. Um, it's going to give me more options in the way of uh, what kind of recording equipment I want to get, or what kind of recording equipment I want to use, or what kind of softwares I want to use. It would also, and I don't mean to sound selfish here, but uh, it would also create a bit of freedom in my life, <laughs> just because then I'd have a little bit more spending money, uh, just for myself, because I do plan on pocketing a little bit, but it would probably only be like 10% of what I actually make on the thing. Um, but yeah, and that's, that's really all I could think about for pros, but... But and so let's move on to cons. Um, one of the main cons uh, is ads. You guys would have to start listening to ads. And YouTube people, just don't listen to this part where you can. But yeah, it's not really going to apply because YouTube has decided in 2020 to um, to just kind of say that they can uh, monetize everything, but then not pay people who don't meet uh, monetization requirements. But yeah, um, Spotify and all those people. Uh, you guys will have to listen to ads on my things that are actually created by me, but yeah, uh, they're, cr they would be created by me. Um, and uh, so, and for the next thing, let me just, um, let me explain to you how I record. Okay. So I usually record the entire podcast in one, in one sitting, right? I record the entire 10, 15 minutes in just one sitting, including the commercial areas. Uh, and what I'd have to do now is I'd have to split every podcast into three parts and record the um, commercial portion twice. Once for the um, podcasting, th uh, the actual official podcasting community, and once for YouTube. Because cause I'm not going to get paid for the ad that's displayed on YouTube. Because I don't meet mo a, um, monet monetization requirements yet for YouTube. But yeah, um, that's what, that's one of the main things is that it would increase my workload um, about twofold, twofold squared. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, I'd also uh, not be making a ton of money, right? I'd be making some money at least right now, and I apply this to me right now. Um, I would 
not be making much money right now uh, which I'm actually going to mention a little bit later um, uh, another big thing is which I'm actually uh, currently fixing is that um, is my laptop because I run this on a laptop um, uh, I'm worried that it's going to run out of storage space. I, I'm not overly worried, but it will eventually happen, and I know I will eventually have to worry about it, but I would rather, because, like, yeah, so I I download, or I didn't download, I have a spare flash drive, which I decided to use, so, yeah, that's, that's yeah, I know, I just um, put out a a perfectly valid con and then defuted, defuted, whatever, it myself, um, yeah. I do that sometimes in case you don't know uh, another big con is the amount of stress it's gonna put in my life because it's gonna mean that I have to spend twice as long working on the same number of videos or the same uh, podcast episode right it's it's just gonna create a little bit less time for me and it's gonna and it might create a little bit more stress which I I'm not a huge fan of stress I don't know if you're a huge fan of stress um, Two episodes ago, I talked about burnout, and that does kind of apply, but yeah. Uh, and with that, let's get on to our commercial portion. So I have actually been given the opportunity to be monetized on what I'm going to refer to as Spotify, uh, which is actually why we're covering this in the, in the episode. Um, but here on YouTube, uh, I actually don't quite meet the, uh, the monetization requirements. Uh, so for this commercial, I'm actually going to be uh, just like one of those typical YouTubers, which I hate. Uh, I hate it when people do this, but here it goes. Uh, so I'd I'd love it if you guys could subscribe so we can actually get to, monetiz to monetization and like the video so that I can actually know that you guys even like listening to this podcast. Your support would really support the podcast. Um, I'm also actually planning on selling some merchandise in, this, in the near future. Uh, so let me know what you guys want to buy or if you actually want to buy anything. Uh, now that that's out of the way, um, I, it, it just absolute, I just gotta, I just want you guys to know that it absolutely makes my day that I can share my ideas with the world and with you guys. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for just listening. Honestly, it just makes my day. Um, and with that, and with that, let's get back to monetization. So, in the way of profits, I'd not really be making too much money, but the money that I do make, um, I'd love to put back into the podcast in the way of, like, gear or, um, or other software that I might use. Um, yeah, and I've actually been doing a lot of research recently over, like, how much I would actually be making. I can't remember the exact, um, the exact numbers, but I would not be making very much, as I mentioned a little bit before. Um, I think it was something like uh, a tenth of a penny per view or something, and with how many views I get right now, that is not much. <laughs> but in the future, it might grow a little bit, and that I'm probably just thinking about this a little bit too early. But overall, uh, I'm hoping to make some kind of money from podcasting, and if not, I'm honestly okay with it. I'm honestly okay with not making any money from it, just because it's for me, it's like free therapy honestly it's amazing um but anyway uh, i overall in the way of in the way of monetization my plan is probably to um kind of hit like a i'm hoping to hit like a sweet spot in the way of uh how many views i get because right now i don't have enough views that i'd made me, i'd really be making enough profits off of it to actually i think pay for itself to be worth it right because it's just causing you guys an inconvenience it's causing me an inconvenience and all that stuff but yeah i i think maybe wait until i until i find a little bit more of a sweet spot until or until um the views rack up a little bit more uh, and then maybe think about monetizing and maybe put this question out to you guys again of if you guys even want me to get monetized and stuff um but yeah that's that's my overall thoughts on things um i'd again i'd love to hear your guys' thoughts youtube in the comments um uh, Spotify people I'm gonna be putting a question in you guys can respond to that um, and yeah with that uh, my name is David Bolander and this was random radio signing off <laughs>